Okay, any questions about this so far? By the way, I realize I haven't really been talking about, uni talking about units a lot um, when we are doing electrostatics. Uh, let me talk about units a little bit now so that I can at least say that we have gone over it. The truth is the units in electrostatic, electricity and magnetism can get very, um, what's the right word? Convoluted or complicated. Um, so units in electricity and magnetism can be very complicated. So I want to take a little bit of time to make sure I give you some um, um, uh, guidelines for approaching units. So my guideline for approaching units is to really remember the equations. And once you remember the equations, you will realize that uh, equations tell you what the units are. So for example, let's say you want to know the unit of electric field. Can someone here actually tell me what units electric fields are given? Gauss is a unit of magnetic field. Yeah, also not an SI unit. SI unit is Tesla. Like 10,000 Gauss is one Tesla. But anybody here know unit of electric field? So understand that no one knows. For it, one, uh, we didn't cover it in class. Two, there isn't a, a name for that unit of electric field. It's like, I don't know, you know, with the momentum, we didn't have a special name for the unit of momentum, right? Even though momentum is a super important quantity in physics 4A. It's the same deal with the um, electric field. It's a very important quantity in electrostatics, but there is no unit that's just for electric field. So what you have to do is, um, there are two equations that involve electric field. It's uh, this equation here. The you know one that relates electric field to force, and the other equation is um, this one here. But let me also highlight this one because these three equations, more than anything else, will give you a guide into the complicated relation, not complicated, the web of relationships between electrostatic units. So let me start out with this one. This is the easiest one. So we have force is equal to charge times electric field, right? So that tells you the relationship between the units that you already know. What unit is force given in? Chris? Yeah, Newtons, right? Everyone knows that. What unit is uh, charge given in SI units? People remember the name? Yes. Coulomb, yeah named after the guy who discovered the Coulomb's law. So charge is given in Coulombs. So this tells me what unit electric field must be. It must be in the unit of Newton per Coulomb. Right? And this is one of the commonly used unit of electric field. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's it. Um, so that's one unit of electric field. But actually, I guess if you are doing any sort of experiment with electricity, you will find that most commonly used unit of electric field is actually not Newton per Coulomb, but something called a volt per meter. That's because it's coming from this relationship here. So let me actually do the other one first. I don't think I prop ever properly introduced the unit of volt. So, um, so volts are the unit of electric potential or voltage. Um, it comes from here, so when you look at volts is equal to some uh, 1 over charge times some amount of potential energy, then this is the new quantity that you may not know the unit of quite yet. But um, you know the unit for the charge and the potential energy. What unit is, um, what's the unit of potential energy? Crystal, what's the unit of potential energy? It's been a, wait, it hasn't been that long since we talked about energy, right? We did it in thermodynamics. It's the name of a guy. No. Joules. Do people really forget joules? <laughs> Let me spell it out. The unit of energy is joules. This is the SI unit of energy. And to tell you the truth, there are many units of energy. Calories, um, well, I guess calories is the only known SI unit I can remember now. But Joule is the SI unit of energy. 
uh, it's, it's really important one. You should have it memorized like for the rest of your life. <laughs> so that's the unit of energy. One over charge, well, we did that already. So that's uh, one over coulomb. One over coulomb. So you need a voltage. This, uh, so um, this is the left-hand side, which uh, if you are trying to say it in terms of other units, you would say volts. Voltages are in joules per coulomb. But with the voltage, with the electric potential, it turns out that we gave a special name to this particular combination of units. We call this uh, one volt, named after I think his name was Volta, or was it Volta? No, that doesn't sound right. There's a guy who invented the battery. <laughs> so this unit is named after the guy who invented the battery. Um, yeah, Volta sounds wrong for some reason. Um, so this is the unit of electric potential, and um, it's a joules per coulomb. There it is. Now, the last unit, uh, relationship between units that's common, so it's good for you to know, is the relationship between the unit of electric potential to the unit of um, electric field. So that is based on this relationship here. Um, change in voltage is equal to, uh, I'm just going to forget the minus sign, um, electric field times absolute value. Um, absolute value times a change in distance, right? So the left-hand side, we are going to stick to the unit of volts. That's the named unit for uh, voltage in um, electrostatics. So I'll just write down. Left-hand side is in volts. On the right-hand side, what's the unit of length? Meter. meter, right? That's the SI unit of length. Meter. So. The electric field, to make the units come out right here, it must have unit of volts per meter. So this is uh, the um, sort of the place where electric field is. It just doesn't have a unit that's assigned to it. There's no name for the unit of electric field. So depending on who's, doing, who's making the reference, either people will use this. You see this a lot in textbook questions. But if you're actually doing any kind of a real work with electricity, most people will use this unit, volts per meter. So I think we should go through one last exercise to just to make sure we are on the um, good ground. Question? Um, those aren't the same uh, quantity. Yeah, so I want to make sure that they are the same quantity. Okay. That's the exercise I want you to go through. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I want to make sure, I mean, they, they are both describing electric field. So they better agree with each other. If they don't, we are in trouble. <laughs> so let's just make sure that it is the case. So what I want to make sure is that one Newton per coulomb is equal to one volt per meter. Like, is that actually the case? Well, let's just write out everything and see. Whenever you're trying to see if the units agree, you just write it out in the basic units. Basic SI units are kilograms, meters, seconds, and now coulombs. So write out all this in terms of those. Let's see what we get. So Newton, I know how to write that, so let me do that. Um, so the left-hand side is one. Newton is kilogram times, let's say, mass times acceleration. So meter per second squared. Yep. All of that divided by coulomb. That's the left-hand side. Right hand side, uh, I have to write out volts. That's going to be in joules per coulomb. So joules is uh, joules is uh, Newton times a meter. Everyone remembers that? Yes. Can I tell you how I remember how joule relates to Newton and other things? This is the relationship I remember. Work is force times distance, and work is energy. And this is Newton, this is meters. So you know, actually, the advice I was giving at the very beginning, it applies to all everything in physics. I don't actually try to remember the unit relationships. I try to remember defining equations. Because defining equations will tell you automatically how the units are related. Okay, okay so um, volt, let me, uh, do, do I want to do it? Let me do it in two steps. Let me first write down one volt per meter here first. So that's one, 
joule per coulomb meter. Now let me write out joule. So joule is one newton times meter per coulomb times meter. Oh, I guess I didn't have to go through all of this. Let me write it out anyway. So what a joule is, is um, kilogram times another factor of meter. So meter squared per second squared. That's a joule. Uh, for volts, I need to divide by coulomb. So divided by coulomb times on the denominator, I still have meter there. So when you write it all out, then it's uh, simple to see that once the meters cancel out, then this is equal to that. And the, the whole reason the SI unit system is set up is that once you work out the unit portion of it, then the numerical portion of it is a super simple. One is equal to one. You don't have to do any weird conversions like you know three feet to a yard or twelve inches to a well yard, or no sorry twelve inches to a foot. <laughs> so you don't have to do that. So, so yeah, those are the electrostatic units that you have. Well, you should have seen so far. <laughs> and now that we are talking about this setup and we are talking about you know how to get electric field from voltage. Um, now is the time for it to see all those relationships between units. So when I get electric field, I can describe it in terms of volts per some unit of length. 